Hello. Today's topic is much important topic for lovebirds lovers. Today we will discuss lovebirds dominant and recessive genetics. So watch the complete video. First what is dominant? And how does it works? In genetically a dominant is a phenomenon of one variant of a gene on a chromosome masking or overriding. The effect of a different variant of the same gene on the other copy of the chromosome. And what is a recessive genetic? A recessive gene that can be masked by a dominant gene such as red eyes. You must get the gene for red eyes from both of your parents. You might remember the word recessive from biology. In simple words the recessive mutation is an autosomal recessive mutation, meaning that both parents must carry the gene to have a visual baby. So it's a basic definition of both dominant and recessive mutations. Now we will discuss on board that's how it work. I hope now you guys easily understand about both mutations. We all know that green bird is a dominant bird. If we breed green bird with blue bird. In offspring you will get all green bird splits blue because green is a dominant. So birds will carry dominant gene first. But now these chicks also carrying recessive gene. Means in next time if you breed these chicks with any recessive bird like blue fisher or blue splitino or anyone. You will get blue birds also. Check how they work now. We are parent green split blue with blue bird. In offspring you will get green split blue and blue birds as well. But look blue is a simple it's not a split of green. Because it's not a dominant. A dominant can be a split of blue but a blue bird can never be a split of green. Because blue is not a dominant bird. In every mutation if you using green opalane, green ewing opalane, green pale fallow, green ewing, with blue bird, then you will get all green birds. So this the difference between dominant and recessive mutation. I hope you guys are now understand. Thank you.